I think the reason that sh we started that conversation was sort of to just have everyone sort of understand different ways that it can be talked about on the street. Emily Grunes was in the health education class where students volunteered crude and sometimes offensive sex slang terms where blurring to be put on the board. It was something of a conversation starter about respect and consent. What the teacher was doing is just trying to educate us on things that kids would otherwise see on the internet and they, this is better to have somebody that is knowledgeable about it and can say what's right and what's wrong. Croton Harmon High School has faced some blowback after Republican candidate for governor and former Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino tweeted saying, I think most parents are just uneasy with this. This is something that should be taught around the kitchen table. It should be a parent or a guardian. The school district released a letter to the community saying Mr. Astorino did not reach out for any context or questions. The letter says the health curriculum was developed with mental health and sex health professionals following a reported sexual assault off campus. Quote, students are then asked to anonymously generate words or phrases they have heard or used related to sexual activity, some of which depict potentially unhealthy dynamics about sex. The individual words and phrases shared by the students are not defined within the class. Instead, there is a discussion about the overall connotation of these terms and the importance of using respectful language around this sensitive topic. They can defend if they want. I find it reprehensible. I also think that parents are very uneasy and I've heard from, I, I mean, I can't tell you how many around the state who have come up to me and said, I'm very uneasy about what's going on in my schools. I'm afraid to speak out because I'm going to be canceled. We did speak with a few parents outside the school. Some agreed with Astorino. Others were supportive of the lesson plan. Grun says she remembers the reason for this program and is thankful for the approach her school is taking. We had a sexual assault case when I was a freshman, and I think it was because of a culture that was developed through poor sex ed, sex education.